upon him. And what does that mean? It means he's, he's the one who uh, had, had many wives. He's the one who, who, who fought in battle. He's, he's far from otherworldly. He's very, very much in this world. And yet he, he has that simplicity, profound simplicity of heart and awareness that we talked about earlier. So he's, he's uh, at this point, the other thing we could say about the most complete stage of Sufi understanding is that we're trying to follow our example in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and we say that, well, I, I'm not going to be a recluse. Even if my friends are recluses uh, and they live in caves, I will honor them if they want me to bring them some fruit or something from time to time, or if they want to discuss spirituality. They may, in fact, be arriving at the same place that I am, but I have chosen this path, so I'm following this path. And in this path, I'm in the world. I'm in the world because one of the interesting things about this, this highest stage is it is also called the fountain. See, it washes everything, as we said. And this fountain is called Kausar. And Kausar means it's the fountain that is paradisal, but it also, in its, in its language, refers to multiplicity. So it's a re-entry into the world of multiplicity where everything is seen as one, as springing from the one. And now, um, we, we also then see, in the direction of ethics, um, the possibility of cultivating ethics in a non-imitative way, in a very real and profound way, having a very real relationship, say, to the divine names. This is called tahaluch, taking on the qualities of the divine names and personifying them rather than impersonating them. And so, uh, and that most complete stage, does it deny a person access to the highest stage? And the answer is, thankfully, no. It doesn't, it doesn't prevent a person accessing the highest stage, which is complete self-transcendence. Does the highest stage prevent this Mohammedan mystic from accessing the world of form and nature and the senses, not at all. It enhances the person's relationship with the senses. It enhances it. Literally, the body is, is full of, of the most astounding, astoundingly wonderful feelings, the most astoundingly profound joy at the level of nerves at the level of skin, at the level of, of the sense of smell, the sense of sight, the sense of hearing. All of these are enhanced in the most complete stage, which is the objective of this impersonal experientialist of the Sufi way, who is at the same time impersonal and at the, and at, uh, as, as he or she is as, as, as much of a person as any of us could possibly be or become. So I leave that for you today, and, and um, I hope it's an introduction for you to this path. And there's a lot more I could read, but it's my feeling that um, when you serve uh, food, you shouldn't um, put too much on the plate. Um, people will go away and, and, and have a better recollection of the food that you have brought to them.